Muhammad says, what is the Islamic way of naming a child? Can we give two names or should it be a single name? What about middle name and the last name? First of all, Muhammad, it is one of your child's rights over you that you give him a, prop, a, a proper name, an Islamic name. I had students of mine with names such as Wolf or Lucas or names of insects and reptiles. What is this? This is injustice to your child. You have to give the child a good and proper name. Nowadays we have these westernized liberal Muslims who avoid to the best of their ability any name that is Islamic. So a, a man is given a child and you tell him, okay, call the child Muhammad, call the child Zainab. He said, no, 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 no. I'd like to call the, 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 my, my son as Daniel. Why? He said, because when the Westerners call him, they would say Danny. It's, it's a Western name, so it's, it's yeah, any possible. They wouldn't know that he's a Muslim. The girl, I would give her a name of Sarah. Not even Sarah, Sarah. A'udhu Billah. What kind of Islam do you have in your heart? These people would like to take off their skins if they can, so that people would not know that they're Muslims. And this is disgraceful. This is shameful. You have to give your child a name that he would be proud of and that he would relate to. So if you call him Sad, so when he grows up, you say, do you know who Sad is? Sad ibn Abi Waqqas, Sad ibn Mu'adh, Sa'd ibn Ubadah. All of these great companions with the name of Sa'd. He knows their history. He knows what they had done to Islam. And he would aspire to be like them. A lot of in the subcontinent in some Arab countries give two names to a child. The first name by default is Muhammad. Seeking the blessing. So my name is Asim. My father would call me Muhammad Asim. And his name is Muhammad Luqman. And his father's name is Muhammad Yunus. What is this? So you read the, the list of names and, okay, you're Muhammad and your father is Asim. No, no, no. My name is Asim. And who's Muhammad? I'm Muhammad. And, and, and what is this? This is confusing people. Give only one name for your child. Either Muhammad or Asim. And it has to to be followed by the father's name and then by the grandfather's name or by the family name. So my father is Luqman. My name is Asim Al-Hakim. I'm known also as Asim Luqman Al-Hakim. I can be Asim Ibn Luqman. All of this is possible, but do not give so many ambiguous names and definitely nothing to do with the mother's family. It cannot be in the child's name because a man or a child that is born out of a legitimate marriage is only attributed to his father and forefathers, not to his mother's family, because this is only when the child is born.